All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to begin your um, color wheel magazine, your, your magazine ripping color wheel. I don't know what I call it, but whatever it is, it's a color wheel that's got primary, secondary, tertiary colors, tints, and shades, and it's all going to be uh, made with um, magazine clippings or tearings or rippings or shreddings, whatever you want to call them. So the first thing I've got to do is a little bit of measuring. And I'm going to start by drawing a line right down the center of the page. And in order to do that, I need to measure from one end to the other. Now first notice that I have my paper. It is landscape. That means it's longer this way than it is this way. This is just a regular eight and a half by 11 piece of copy paper. So I'm going to put my ruler down. And what's half of 11? I hear some people saying six. Some say five. If you guessed any whole number, you're wrong. Half of 11 is five and a half. So find that little mark that's between five and six. And that's your five and a half. So I'm going to do a little mark at the top. I'm going to do a little mark at the bottom. Five and a half another mark at five and a half and now I'm going to draw a line and with this if you're following along with me you might want to be doing this well you can do it in pencil or you can do it in pen but you'll need to use both uh, in order to keep track of, of what's what so you'll you'll see um, so now I have my center line drawn. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from this corner to this corner. So I'm going to line up my bottom corner, check my top corner, and everything looks good, and giddy up. And there we go. Perfect. And I'm going to do the same thing. Now once you have three lines drawn, you're done. Don't do any more yet. So there we have it. Now instinctually you feel like you're gonna wanna do a line here, but wait. So I'm gonna cap my pen and I'm gonna switch to pencil. And this is just gonna help me keep track of which lines I have and which lines I still need. So for this part, I'm just going to eyeball the halfway marks. So between here and here, I'm going to eyeball it right about there. And I'm going to say that's about the halfway mark. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this line. I'm going to use my ruler. I'm going to take this dot, and I'm going to line it up with that middle point, And I'm going to draw a line. And not only am I going to draw that line, but I'm also going to take it all the way through to that bottom part. Just like that. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to find the halfway mark. And I'm going to line that dot up oops, with that center point. And I'm going to draw a straight line right through to the other side of the paper. And now the last one is going to be this right here. And I will eyeball this, but that's eight and a half inches. So if you want to measure, half of eight and a half is four and one quarter. Actually, I can, I can use my, my drawing mat. Let's see. I can get it closer. So each square is four. Each square is one inch. So I go one, two, three, four. And then I find the half and I back it up and put it right there. So that's four and a quarter or thereabouts. And then I'm going to, again, find the middle. So my ruler is against that and against that. And I'm just going to draw that line like that. Now I'm going to Go back to my, ah, I guess it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll keep using my pencil. 
I'm going to make a dot right about here on this line. And then I'm going to make another dot right about here. So I'm kind of trying to make these from here to here. I want it to be about the same as the distance from here to here and from here to here. So I want them evenly spaced as best as I can. And now I'm going to draw a straight line from here to here and from here to here. And again, I'm kind of eyeballing this because if I, if I wasn't eyeballing, I'd be measuring exactly the distance. But for this, it, as long as you can do it, as long as you can get it close. So I've got that line, and now I'm going to do another line. And when I line up my ruler, I'm looking at this, I'm looking at this. I'm just checking to see if it feels level. If it feels level, then I'm probably close enough. And I'm going to draw these lines going from my ink pen lines, going right through my pencil lines. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go straight across. So where this line touches this line, I can put a dot, and I can put another dot. And I'm going to go straight across. All the way to that angle line. So I'm going to go through one, two, three, four lines, and I'm going to stop. No, I'm sorry, at the fourth line. I'm going to go through one, two, three lines. I'm going to stop at the fourth. So going this way, I only went through one line. This way, I went through three. And I'm going to do that for the top line, and I'm also going to do that for the bottom line. Go one, two, three, and stop. Turn it this way, and I'm going to try to make sure it's level. And on this one, I'm only going to go through one, go through one, and stop. Up here, I'm going to go through one, same way. Go through one, and stop. And now I'm going to connect. So now that it's upside down, it looks like the letter U. I'm going to connect this to this and I got a little bit crooked but I'm not too bad I'm gonna go through three and I'm gonna stop on the fourth one one two three and stop and I'm gonna do the same thing up here who I got a little bit more wonky on that one but it's okay again going through three and stopping on four one two three and stop on four so now this paper is going to be covered. So now your task, what I would suggest you do, is determine where your primary colors are going to be, where your secondary colors are going to be, and then where your tertiary colors are going to be. And don't just write primary, primary, secondary, secondary. What I would suggest doing, for example, if I start I usually start with yellow. So these middle shapes are going to be the base color. So whatever color you're using, if you watch the other video, you saw me do this, where I blended and I went from a shade to a tint of the color orange. So we're going to call this the base value or the base color. Yikes. And then this is, of course, the shade. And then this is, of course, the tint. So our base color is the name of the color. So I'm going to start with yellow. And I'm going to write it in there. And then this is going to be dark yellow. And this is going to be light yellow. And if you want, you just put L L Y, abbreviate for light yellow. So then this is going to be a tertiary color. I'm going to skip that. And this is going to be a secondary color. So what secondary color is next to yellow? 
So you can use your color wheel as a reference to fill this in. So I can put, if I wanted to, there's nothing preventing me from putting green or orange here. But whichever color I put in here as my secondary, it's going to determine where the rest of those colors go. So primary, then this is going to be a secondary. Skip it, primary. Skip it, secondary. Skip it, primary. Skip it, secondary. And then you're going to have a tint and a shade in each one. So with that, hopefully you've been saving magazines. Me, I've got... I've got a little bit of a stack. Now some of these I, I got from around the house here. Some of them I borrowed from some of my friends and family. So People Magazine, um, somebody gave that to me. This is a ad that I got from uh, a music store. But there's still some nice, some decent colors in here. There's a drum set, we've got some nice turquoise on that. Some, red values in there. Um, so I can use that. Um, here's another um, musician. I think this is all drum stuff. Um, not a lot in there, but some. Uh, this is a copy of Ebony Magazine. So I've got, oh hey. Free lotion. So there's some colors in here. Oh, is this a little no. So we've got some nice reds, some oranges, uh, there's some blue values, some green. Here's some reds, some car mag, car advertisements. And this is. So you can see I got a back to school catalog and OU magazine that my wife gets. This kid's got a nice turquoise shirt on. Um, I'm going to go back to People Magazine. And I'm going to look for, so here we've got, actually, let me do that. Let me find out where my blue is going to be. So if this is primary, this is yellow, I'm going to put my blue right there. And then I'll put DKB for dark blue. Nope, that's wrong. And that is why it's important to write it out first to plan it. Because if I'd have started gluing stuff, that could have been a mistake that I couldn't undo. So LTB, and then this one is going to be DKB. So this is going to be my blue. That means this is going to be my my green. LTG and then DKG and then the rest of it gets filled in from there. So let's find some blue. So here we've got we've got some nice So I want to use smaller chunks of blue. I don't want to use, like I'm not just going to glue the whole thing down. I want to use small little pieces and I'm going to use um, Dollar Tree glue stick, which is sufficient for this. I'm just going to rub the light blue and stick it. And I'm going to do a little bit more. I don't want the whole light blue to be that same blue value of the sky. So I'm going to save that. Now this is some nice dark blue up here. I'm going to grab that. Put that in there. And do another, another chunk of that dark blue. go. 
Yeah, maybe this is a nice base blue. So I'll put that down there. And now, here's another section with some nice blues. I'm going to tear that out. reds, oranges there. So this is beautiful dark blue. And I can even, so it doesn't have to absolutely match. You see this is darker than that. That is okay to have that. So now I'm ripping, it, it almost goes from light blue to dark blue and there's not much of that regular blue in there but there's enough enough for me to grab so I'm going to take a little little piece of that it's like a light blue I'm going to put that there and I'm going to grab some of that So I'm going to use this as my regular blue, as my base blue, and I'm going to tear off the pieces that are not, pieces that are, that I think are too light. So there we go. And then I'm going to continue, hmm, I'm going to save that red. I'm not sure where I would put that. That might be a tertiary color. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to put that off to the side. Oh, here's some... Who is this? Lady Gaga? Yeah. That's... Actually, I'm... I like that. You know what? I can, I can grab that to... Eh, I'll leave it. Oh, check that out. Some purple, some light green, some beautiful yellows so I'm gonna tear those out as I find them whoops and I'm gonna put them on this color wheel so again before you start gluing lay this out so if this is blue this is gonna have to be purple red orange and then it goes from there.